Le Kuang Liam goes into the final round of the Gibraltar Masters with six and a half points. He had a great game today and he joins us in our studio to tell us how he did it. Liam, you had a tough game in round six, a loss and then three back-to-back -back wins. Feeling more on track? Yeah, absolutely. I was very disappointed with my play in game six. I tried to complicate matters and uh, I got a winning position. Um, but then I planned a horribly in one move and I lost that game. So it was very painful. But uh, now that I'm trying to... This was to that rook h1 Yeah, I, I missed that 97 check. Yes. Very simple move. And um, so I had to do uh, what I have to do. And <laughs> now I, I won three in a row and one more game tomorrow. So I'm hoping I can get a good finish here. And you have done what you needed to do, and especially today. Quite an aggressive game from the start. Yeah, I think it's a very interesting game. I didn't look at this live um, specifically before the game, but I, I played some game online before, um, some time ago. And one of my friends played this live. Uh, so I, I looked a little bit and I knew this idea with F4 is supposed to be good for white. Uh, but I actually missed up the move order after EF. So for um, today's game, you hadn't checked this again? Well, my opponents play a number of different openings, right. so I, I had to check a lot of them. And uh, this specific lie, I didn't check. You know, it's very interesting when we interview uh, elite players like yourself, there is often preparation that you have done some while before, which never got used and then gets used later on. Yes, I never expected to uh, get this same lie because I, as I told you, I play one game online and I thought it's, <laughs> uh, it, it looks great for white. So I didn't go too deep in this lie and I thought it's just very nice. But what I actually miss is here, bishop takes f4 is not a good move. I should have played knight d5, where black cannot, black doesn't have time to play h6 because I can take e7 and then take f4. Right, so the uh, point is that now after h6, you just. Yes, uh, bishop f4. And take on f4 and d6 is hanging. Yes. Right, and the problem with bishop f4 is that is he can go h6. He can h6 play h6 immediately. Because of bishop h4. Yes, and now I have to play rook g1. Uh, so let's say hg, hg, knight e5. So I force to play bishop e2, um, knight c6. And here he is developing very fast and has some, um, he has some counter play. I was hoping queen d2 may work, but apparently there is some tactics like this take, take, knight d4, and he has this queen b6, I think. And it should be right equal because he gets to take b2. Yeah, so and there's a lot of play for black here. Yes, yes. So he should have done that. And knight c6 is a, is a mistake. So here I actually make another mistake here. I should have played knight d4 again. Um, so knight d4 would be slightly better for white because he has to, to take, I think. Uh, queen takes and knight e5. Yes, and then probably I castle and then he castle and... I think it's uh, still better for white, but it's a better version than in the game because in the game he didn't get to trade my knight. Um, so here again he has to play h6 and basically get transposition to rook g1. So the point is for him to play h6 before you go long castle so yes. that he has this idea with bishop h4. Yeah, but this idea is not so easy to play during a game because normally black wants to castle short. Yes. So if you do this, basically you cannot castle short anymore. And if you don't have that quick knight c4 with queen b6, then it might just be worse, worse for, for black. you. Yeah. yeah. Because castle knight d5 and black king is not safe anywhere. Yeah, absolutely. It's a very counterintuitive move for black yes. because he's sort of opening the only side where his king is safe. Uh -huh. But after you got knight f5 in this position, things looked great for white. And here, black's reply was something that surprised you? Yeah, I was completely surprised, uh, very pleasantly surprised <laughs> actually, uh, when he took on f5. Um, because I think that structure is just totally winning for white. I, had, I think he had to play something like rook e8. And although it looks still bad for black, I can at least take on e7, take on d6. Or I can play something like queen g2 and try to play knight e5, h5. So still a very strong attack for white. Like he has to go here, I think. Still a very strong attack for white, but it's not lost yet. Yes. But after bishop takes f5, I think it's just very easy play for white. and free attack on the king's side and I think I, I didn't play the best move afterwards but they were enough to win. In this position it really does look like white got everything very quickly on the king's side while black hasn't really created much on the queen's side. Yeah exactly, I had the bishop pair, I had 
huge attack, uh, positional better also. So. Right, a very nice game and then it was quite smooth from here. Where do you yeah. think was Black's last mistake in this game? Um, it's hard to say. I, I think all the move are... Uh, it's already pretty uh, bad already for pretty Black. Bad, yeah, you, you mean there's a saying, they say in a bad position all move are bad. <laughs> so there's nothing to do there, I think. A very nice game overall and a very critical moment, Liam. A 28 move win. Um, feels good? Yeah, it's uh, looking, I'm looking more optimistic now <laughs> for the, um, than, than after draft 6. So I'm hoping. Yeah, could you yeah. come? Yeah. yeah, I'm hoping no. to have a good result. Absolutely, and tomorrow is the last game. Mm -hmm. uh, you are in the top positions. What is the approach like? What's the feeling going into last round? Um, of course, I've tried to play for a win. It also depends on who I'm playing. I would assume I play uh, someone my, at the same points or half a point higher than me. Um, so, but with black, it's also very tricky and very difficult. So it depends on who the opponent is and what would they, they choose. But if I have um, my chances, I'll take it. That's what we like to hear. And given the tournament situation, tomorrow is all set up to be a very exciting finish. Mm -hmm. We wish you all the best. Thank you very much. Thank you, Liam. Okay.